Good morning class. Today I am going to discuss the basic rules of differentiation. So the first one is the derivative of a constant. So we have the derivative of a constant is always equal to zero. So we have here an example. The derivative of five is equal to zero. So even if it is a variable but it is declared as constant, for example, the derivative of a where a is a constant variable. So it is still equal to zero. The second one is the power rule. So the power rule, we are just going to bring down the exponent and then subtract it by one. So we have here an example of a power rule. So for example, we have the equation y is equal to x to the power of four. So simply to get the, uh, the derivative, bring down four and then four minus one based on the power rule. So therefore we have four x to the power of three, which is four minus one. Second example, the numerical coefficient is 2 because the first example is automatic. It has a numerical coefficient of 1. So we have this one is 2. So simply bring down again 3 and we have 3 minus 1. So since we have 2 as numerical coefficient of x cubed, so we will include that one. We will just multiply 2 to 3. So we have the derivative of y is equal to 2x cubed is equal to 6x squared. The third one is we have the sum rule. So the sum rule, it is just simply distributing the derivative or evaluating the derivative per uh, term. Uh, we call it term in, the, uh, in algebra. So we have here an example. y is equal to 3x to the 7th minus 5x squared plus 3. So the derivative of y is equal to, so bring down 7 using the power rule since we have a numerical coefficient of 3, simply multiply that one. So we have 3 times 7 is 21, then 7 minus 1 is 6. So we have the first term is 21x to the 6. Then the second one, this is minus 5x squared. So we have minus 5. So bring down 2. We have here. Then 2 minus 1. So multiply negative 5 and 2 is negative 10. X to the 1. And then the third one, get the derivative of 3. So since 3 is a constant, and the first rule says that the derivative of a constant is always equal to 0. So that is why we have plus 0. So we have... 21x to the 6 minus 10x to the 1. So in algebra, we don't need to put 1 as exponent. It is automatic. So the final answer, the derivative of this function is 21x to the 6 minus 10x.